you're a deeply spiritual person and you're the, a person I can call up and talk about deep spiritual matters and matters of the soul and, and heart. And so it seems like you've always really had that spiritual side of you. Has that always been a part of your life? Has that, how, and how has that evolved since you were younger? It has evolved over time. You're right. I, I, my grandmother was very religious and I used to go on Wednesday nights, I'd go to the cathedral and I, you know, do service. And then on Thursday nights I had choir practice and Friday nights I had fellowship and on Saturday I did community service. And on Sunday I went to church and every morning I had morning prayers at 7 AM. And that was sort of like the norm for me growing up for some of my, some of my childhood when I was with my grandmother at least. And so when I was younger, that was spirituality, but it was religion. Mm -hmm. um, it was actually very grounding and she was extremely wise woman. I mean, she would say things to me like, you never say you're sick. You say you're healing. Mm. And, and I still think that that is one of the most important things. I did a post on it the other day. You liked it. I know you did. Yeah. And uh, I mean, liked it as in you press the like yeah. button. But um, <laughs> she, was, she was extremely um, influential to me when I was younger. And then I went through the 80s and 90s in New York City. And I was you know, wild. So I, um, I lived a really fast life and I tried everything. And by the time it's 2003, uh, my second son is born and I realized that my lifestyle isn't conducive to having two children. And if I want to be the present connected parent that I want to be, I need to make some changes. And so I, I went to rehab, I got sober, and then that led me on a completely different spiritual path that was um, based on the foundation of the 12 steps of AA, but also recognizing that I had so much going on on the outside, but I felt really barren on the inside. And I needed to start to repopulate my, uh, my, my inner sense, my connection to, um, nature, my connection to a higher power, my connection to myself, connection to love. Mm -hmm. And, um, and, and then I, and I've just grown from there, you know, my understanding of spirituality has, it has evolved the same way my understanding of wellness has evolved over time. And I meet people like you and I choose to have honest, authentic, um, heartfelt connection rather than you know small talk we talk about big stuff in life and that's why I, I love chatting with you and that's the kind of depth that i just find so invigorating in in my life to have those kind of connections with people and i'm not talking about airy fairy shit i'm talking about just life stuff you know how how we how we want to be in life and and what we want to create for ourselves how we want to be of service to others what's important to us and it's a more conscious living yeah for sure long answer i'm so sorry no, this is <laughs> the stuff i wouldn't know about i wouldn't know about this stuff so you when you kind of had that awakening in 2003 around that time and you were a new mom and was that transition of like leaving that old life that you saw wasn't conducive wasn't where you wanted to be anymore was that a difficult to leave or was it just like, you know what, this is not serving me anymore. What, what did that process look yeah, like? Yeah, no judgment on it at all. I had the best time. And I honestly, I was, I was a lot of fun and I had a lot of fun. And I had make no judgment to anybody who, you know, lives a different, um, has a different relationship perhaps uh, to uh, partying than I did. Um, I, I needed help and I asked for help. Let's put it that way. And that's why going to rehab, you know, going to rehab really helped me. Um, I don't actually talk a lot about it because I think there's always so much um, stigma attached to it. And it, for me, it was just um, like, dude, I need, I need to, I need support. <laughs> and, yeah. and so that's what I did. And I think being courageous in life is about asking for help when you need help. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't mean that you're weak. It actually is the, the strong yeah. um, action. And so that's what I did. And was it hard? Um, 
uh, you know, some things just naturally um, fall away. You know, it's like your vibration changes. You're not interested and they're not interested in you and it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then you, it's like one door closes and another one opens. Mm -hmm. And it's being courageous enough to know that um, it's all going to work out um, in the end. And if it's not the end, it hasn't, if it hasn't worked out, it's not the end. But also being courageous enough to make that leap, knowing that you're taking one step towards what you truly want for yourself in your life. And it doesn't have to be dull and boring. And it doesn't have to be the end of your life. It's just um, a more a refined version of, of, of who you want to be and how you want to live.